Another small LED lamp. This one is designed for things like fridges and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, fifty 50 LEDs. Uh, so each of them is three chips. So it's probably got about 21 LEDs in it. And uh, now where's the lamp holder? And I'll just plug this in and we'll check its power. It's quite a neat little thing. Warm white and it's coming up on the meter as 1.2 watts. So a typical sort of one watt style LED lamp. So let's open it. Now how easy, this outer shell, I originally thought when I saw it online that it was glass but it's plastic so um, let's get the vise and uh, use some brute force. Oh, oh, you know what? Does that use that same little circuit board that the... It, very similar to the circuit board in the um, filament lamp, but not quite. It's just got this, the same sort of um, rect on one side and uh, a slightly different arrangement uh, on the other side. So let's take a look at this. And there's enough room that I can push that back in, hopefully. So there's the um, there's the capacitor that's being used to limit the current, and it's got its discharge resistor soldered directly across it. And I'm guessing that's just another resistor to limit the inrush current, and then that's fundamentally going to be it. After that, it's going to be these circuit boards are fundamentally going to be just um, connected in a sort of series arrangement. Meter. So I'll try and measure that capacitor. It's, it always skews the reading a little bit when it's got a discharge resistor across it. I'll measure the discharge resistor. It's going to be in the region of probably about 470k to 1 meg ohm. So I can do that just by sticking it across that capacitor. Try not to get my fingers in because they will influence. Oh, what am I doing with that? That's way the wrong reading. Looks like one meg ohm. This could be a close relative of the other lamp with the choice of one meg ohm, that, uh, that silicon type lamp that I took to bits. Um, this, is this a resistor? I'm guessing it's a resistor. It's so small. Six hundred and seventy-nine ohm. That's quite good. That's also why it's quite big. That will really limit the inrush current. Oh, this is so simple. And then the bridge. Okay. Notepad. Uh, oh, and I'll, I'll measure the value of the capacitor. I'm guessing it's going to be 220 nanofarad, 330 nanofarad. Could be wrong. 330 nanofarad. This is such a simple lamp, it's actually quite nice. It, uh, it makes a change from the silicon one I took to bits. Uh, just before making this video, because that was a complete bitch to take to bits because the silicon stopped me making connections with the uh, meter repeatedly. It was quite a, an annoying one. So here we go. Let's uh, actually do it officially. Let's uh, see where the live wire is coming up. The live wire is actually coming up to the capacitor, the one from the tip as opposed to the ring, the outer thread. So it's going up to a capacitor of 330 nano. It's got a 1 meg ohm resistor across it, going into a bridge rectifier, AC, AC plus minus, and rather nicely, I like this, it's got that resistor which I've completely forgotten the value of, um, but was it 680 ohm meter? Yeah, 
680 ohms. And that will really limit the inrush current, 680 ohms. And it's quite a beefy resistor as well, so it's designed to take a bit of punishment. Then, ultimately, it's just um, the diodes, which I won't draw too many for time reasons. So that's, um, there's three circuit boards plus the one at the end, so that's um, 7 times 50-50 LEDs equal 21 chips. So there we go. Um, that's, that's a neat little lamp. And I can put it back together again. That's nice. Because uh, I certainly am getting that pleasure with the one that was in the silicon. Oh, incidentally, when, the, when I actually tested the one the silicon end, I actually I couldn't get con good enough connections to actually trace out the circuits in this. I ended up just getting a couple of wires. Putting a 100k resistor in series, sticking it across the mains and just dabbing it on because one of the resi one of the LEDs was broken and it showed me, um, it meant that half the circuit lit so I could see which which was one circuit and the ones that were out with the other circuit. So that's uh, that, but uh, yeah, this was a quite neat, I quite like this. It'd be nice to see these in coloured lamps, quite cute little thing.